Yeah, any questions about this? Yeah. Actually, I have two. One's an incidental question. You keep mentioning something that I never heard of called Arduino or something like that. Yes. What is that? Arduino is a tiny little um, microcontroller, not related to video games, really. But it's a tiny little microcontroller, and you connect it up to a circuit, and then it can tell like an LED to blink every five seconds, and it can it can detect when you press a button, and it can read off of a like light sensor whether the lights are on. So it's a little kind of computer chip that you program to do one particular task that connects out to the world. Yeah. So and then more generally, I'm curious what the you know the connection with connect is in, in this course. Like if we didn't want to use Connect, is that an option? The reason I'm a little nervous is because I don't own one and I don't have access to one, so if I end up building something that requires Connect, then I won't be able to use it. Yes, yeah, so the, you can buy a Connect that'll work with a PC for about 200 bucks. If you don't want to use a Connect, that's fine. Okay. Um, we have four Connects and computers with Unity that are all set up to use it. So if you want to use a Connect, you have the resources. And um, not, not a necessary part of doing this course. Not a necessary part, no. Do Unity and focus on like web apps or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do your own thing, totally. Um, and the Connect is really it's it's amazingly simple. So if you have a game that connects with a mouse click and a drag, then you can instantly take the Connect and say where it was a mouse click and drag, make it the palm. And it takes like zero transfers, right? Yeah. So in those simulations you saw, uh, it was all you need to do to change them from being a connect thing to a not connect thing is uncheck one of the scripts in this panel. So like, so pretend this were my other product, which isn't on this computer. This would be with connect, and then this would be with the mouse. So right. yeah. you don't have to exclusively choose one. Yeah, so and then you can program a whole connect thing on your computer just assuming mouse clicks are connect. And then when you're ready, drag on the scrape or click on the little thing and it's ready to work on a connect system. Yeah, so he, that's part of what he's been tasked to do over the last six months was make it really easy to use connect if you want it. Um, yeah, any other questions? And if I don't see your hand up, it's probably because you're in my periphery, so say things. Yeah. Uh, Following up on the connect thing, I, I happen to have an older connect. I assume it's not out of date, but is there uh, anything we should download, um, any development kit or anything to use at home so that we're on the same page as what's happening in class? Or? Uh, question? Yeah. yeah. There is a connect SDK, and you can download it from the Microsoft website. We are using the newer version of the connect, however, the older version is very similar. and. I think you just have to remove the little V2 at the end of all of the connect references in the code. Yeah. And it only works on Windows. It does only work on Windows, yes. yes. And I see a little Apple, I think. Uh, I have yeah. a boot camp on this, so I can... Oh, okay. Great. Cool. What only works on Windows? Uh, the connect, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then forget it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any other... No. Nope. All right. Then. Is there a Connect simulator so that you could run it on a Mac, or does that also only work on Windows? Um, I guess it probably just only works on Windows because it, it uses a, like a development library, a DLL a li linked library that runs on Windows and knows what to do with the inputs that it's getting. Yeah. And it's the version one. I think can do. You can do on a Mac. It's oh. specific to the version two. The version two it pushes the USB 3.0 spec like really hard. And it's so much data that I don't think Microsoft wanted to put any extra effort into that. Um, it used to only work on Windows 8. Right. Yeah, now we can work on Windows 10. Yeah. Okay. All right, so okay. thank Would you. Would it be useful to do a poll of who uses Macs, who uses Windows, and Linux, and things like that? I mean, you can still program it on the Mac yeah. and just do it with the mouse. Okay. And then just like check the little box before. Right. And it. yeah, so you can send it over to one of the systems that has the connect and ch uncheck the box. <laughs> yeah. 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 It shouldn't it shouldn't end up being a problem. If you start working on a Mac, then it it should take a little bit of time to like look and go, "Oh yeah, no problem. Check this, send it over here and it'll work." But um, yeah. yeah.
don't, what I would say is don't worry about it. Do what's comfortable right now, and then we'll figure out what needs to be adjusted later.